It is not uncommon to have concerns about the estate or the actions of the personal representative. We always recommend starting with a simple conversation and request for information. But what if the personal representative refuses to provide information about the estate's assets? What can you do? We'll be diving into this topic in today's video. My name is Eric Broll, and I'm the founder and CEO of Georgia Probate Law Group. At our firm, we help families who have lost a loved one navigate the complex and confusing legal process so they can make sure the estate is handled properly and their loved one's memory is honored. Everything discussed in this video is for general information and is not legal advice. For specific information about your situation, please go to gplg.com to request a complimentary consultation. We often recommend that the personal representative provide information and transparency to the family members with an interest in the estate. That one step goes a long way towards reducing or eliminating conflict over the estate. When the personal representative is non-responsive or refuses to provide information when you ask, we often need to pursue legal remedies to obtain information about the estate. That way, we know for sure what is going on. The first option is usually a demand for an accounting. When we pursue this option, we are asking the court to require the personal representative to file a formal accounting with the court so that the judge and everyone with an interest in the estate can see it. Once filed, that accounting can either settle questions regarding the estate or raise new questions. If the estate has been open for a long time, another option is to file a demand that the personal representative show cause why the estate should not be dispersed. Similar to the accounting, this will often result in a formal filing by the personal representative regarding the estate's assets. This option has an additional benefit in that it also often results in an explanation of the status and plan for the estate. It can also result in a hearing. These are just two of the most common options. Since these situations are complicated, I strongly recommend that you have an experienced attorney help you. Please reach out to our team for a complimentary consultation. For more information about this and other probate topics, please go to gplg.com handbook to download a complimentary copy of our Georgia Probate Handbook. You'll learn the key things that go wrong in an estate, how to prevent them, and what to do if they happen. As always, thank you for watching.